that's the challenge is how do you take something that people revere so much? And so John's, I think he's very sensitive to that and, and you know, he's careful to, to preserve everything that people love about the film and also taking the other material, the, the stage play, and there's a lot that people love about, of, love about that and uh, just sort of picking, taking everything that he can to honor this story and honor the film and make the, the fans happy. Um, all sort of in service of telling this, this wonderful story. Coming into it, one of the, one of the things we knew we had to do f from the get-go, based on just our love of the old film and also the fan reaction to the announcement, everything, we knew we had to keep these songs. They were, you know, as much as people love these scenes with Mufasa and Simba, it's Hakuna Matata and the circle of life and I just can't wait to be king. These are really important to this film. Like you can't have Lion King without those. And so it's great to be able to have actors who can actually sing. Going into it, you know, you knew James Earl Jones. I can't think of anyone else who could ever play Mufasa. That, that was just you, 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 there's no other choice, right? And fortunately, he's able to be Mufasa still. And that was a pretty easy decision to make. And at the same time, we announced Donald Glover, who um, just to us was just absolutely perfect for, for playing adult Simba. Um, he's, he's, I mean, his singing career is incredible. And to have his talent, his improv background, and he's, he's on fire right now. He's doing so many creative things. And it's just he's perfect for the role and so we announced the two of them together to to tell to tell the public like we're going to honor the original and also here's what we're bringing new to it 